Previously on Souls is at Sunrise. We're heading to the Tatra mountain range in Slovakia. Our very first national park in almost a year. The first one outside of the United States that we've ever visited. Oh, Europe is in one of the most extreme heat waves that it's ever seen and we're gonna hike in it. Tomorrow morning, we have to take two trains just to get to the city where we will start our hike. And we start our hike bright and early tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. morning today is the big day i think we're ready we're probably over prepared or at least i am look at the clear skies also like we said yesterday europe is going through a huge heat wave right now it's going to be 90 degrees today it's gonna be hot we have a lot of water though this hike is going to be slightly different than any hike we've ever done and the most expensive i mentioned yesterday we have two trains to reach our trailhead we actually have three I have done a lot of research on today's hike and every single blog that I came across suggested that you should take the cable car because the trailhead that we want to begin at technically is already halfway up the mountain. So we're going to start with the cable cars and then go through the rest of the hike. But what makes this hike even more different is we're hiking to a chalet in the mountains. There should be food and potentially drinks halfway through. One train down. That was really easy. The next one. Three euro. Could we have bought tickets on the train? No. no. Okay. Thank you. Hey Nathan. Can I get some coffee? The euro. All right, genius. I guess I'm not gonna talk today. This is our train. Oh. You have to validate your tickets also. Thank you. We've made it to Tatranska Lomnisa. We've got about a 15 minute walk to the cable cars. It took us a little less than an hour to get here. You may have to transfer, but we didn't. Wow. And there's little signs pointing you towards the direction that you need to go the whole way. These ski lift tickets were a bit more expensive than we anticipated. They are 48 euro for both tickets, but to only go one way. But we're here. It's definitely a line forming. Holy cow. This is still so much less busy than the Poland side where everybody got off the bus yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I've never really taken a ski lift like this before. Yeah. This is amazing. Yay! This is so cool. <laughs> and you get to go by yourself. That's nice. Yeah. You can choose. Woohoo! I am pumped. And we get to do this again. We are not buckled. No. You got that wrapped around your arm? Yes, I do. Amber and I have traded mentalities today for some reason. Amber has no concern in the world. I'm like, do we have tickets? Is this where we're supposed to be? What time is it? I think it's because I did more of the research for this. I, I did all the research for this, so. You always do the research. Yeah. But you still have that, a little bit of. of anxiety, anxiety and edge, yep. yeah. And yeah, none of that today. No, he's been uh, definitely traded places, let's just say that. I'm still having fun. He won't even let me get coffee. Ugh. I got us on the train. As soon as this opened up at 8.30, I mean, they just start piling people on. So if you're worried about getting here a little late, I wouldn't. It seems to move very quickly. This is the hike that we could have been doing 
and instead we paid money. There I hope. Thank you. We on to the next one. It's very hot in those boxes. These mountains are incredible. Just look. We quite literally just skipped the two to three most strenuous hours and the least interesting portion of this trail. Did we pay too much to do it? Absolutely. Do I regret it? No. Okay, we turn the tickets to the ticket office. They give you two year on cash each, and away we go. Let the fun begin. Although I'm already having a blast. Nothing puts me in a better mood than food and this. Nathan sometimes. made it like 10 minutes and uh, it's not a good sign. I'm exhausted. I really did switch spots. I feel okay. <laughs> We're gonna do a one mile update. It's been 45 minutes and really enjoyable. The first 20 minutes or so was like straight up on rocks. And ever since then, we've been hiking across boulders in a beautiful meadow, and it's been awesome. You can see everything out here. Look at you. You know it's a good trail when you're 10 minutes in, and you're like, yeah. I will link the blog that I followed to do this hike in the description below. So if you want every single detail about today, check there. I got a question for anybody watching this. What is your favorite hike that we have gone on? If you've seen any or all of our videos. And if you haven't, just comment your favorite hike below. We'd love to hear it. Okay. You got any more? I think I only grabbed two. Crazy. That's where we're heading next. Just have to get down there. Trail snack with a queue. Now let's check these bad boys out. Oh yeah. Those are great. They actually do. I, we've had these before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those were three euro. Mm. Heck yeah, buddy. Let's go. Damn. These are delicious. This has been top hike i mean this has been great i like the amount of elevation and how it's done it's not too steep too fast the rocks are fun the mountains are beautiful we're having a great time we have an ascent of 1200 feet and a descent of 4000 feet as far as i understand it once we leave the chalet we're going through the woods and just going like flat surface around so we don't we're not going back the same way we came no, this is a circle. Oh, it so is? So I literally think we are going through the valley and oh. around the mountain. So this was our highest peak and yeah, that's it. Well, already. I kind of like the sound of that. I thought we had to hike all the way back what we already hiked. I'm even more excited now.
I would just like to say we checked the weather about a week ago and it definitely called for a lot of rain and thunderstorms today. And look at this, it doesn't get any better. I know we try to do everything in the most affordable way possible and paying 22 euro a piece to get up a ski lift to hike doesn't sound very cheap. But in the grand scheme of things, to hike anywhere, you're gonna have to rent a car, pay for something to get to your trailhead. And if that's what we had to pay for today, it's kind of the same as renting a car. Every single hike has cost us about the same cost. Not mad about it. This has been incredible. One of our favorite hikes, I think. It's just so much fun. This has been great. There's a part of the trail that I haven't discussed yet, and I don't think Nathan knew about it, but it does get a little interesting. You did say something about, oh, I think there's some dicey parts up here, but you were talking about the boulder field. That wasn't dicey at all. That was so much fun. <laughs> the chain really is just broken. Oh well. You supposed to go down that. Right like that. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I don't know, honey. I'm just not going to hold on to it unless I feel like I need to. Oh my goodness, this isn't attached to anything. It's so broken. The whole thing's broken? Yeah, most of these connections aren't actually connected. They're taking uh, this chain section to a whole new level. Oh, almost went face first. Yeah, I just kind of fell through it. We made it. Oh. Trail update, it's noon o'clock and we've been hiking for a little over two and a half hours. We're at almost three miles and we're almost to the chalet. It's so nice, we're almost there. We made it. This is called Green Lake, by the way. I'll let you figure out why. Fun fact, you can stay overnight here. We tried our hardest to do so and they were all booked up. Oh well, we'll try again someday. I'm officially calling this hike my favorite. It wasn't the most enjoyable, but it does offer the best views I think we've seen. Time to get some beer. All of this was 12 euro. It's worth it. This beer is so good. One of the better beers we've had in a minute. I'm gonna try this kielbasa, some mustard. That's delicious. We hiked over that. I just want you to know. I'm so impressed. I've never had a beer at such a high altitude before. That was the best beer <laughs> I've ever had. Rocks are slippery. Oh <laughs> Saying goodbye to the chalet. We started from this direction and we are now heading this direction.
It took us almost three hours to reach the chalet and it might take us about three hours to get back. I think we're only at the halfway point. But this last part should be way more flat and just overall a lot easier. We're not entirely sure this will take us back to the exact spot we started. We may take a bus if we need to or you know we'll just figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah we just we're just walking okay. I was really looking forward to a nice relaxing hike through the woods for four miles back to civilization and it's not been that. <laughs> we're finally hitting some shade but the entire trail is just pure rock. You're still watching where you step, you're going downhill. It hasn't been quite as relaxing as I'd hoped, but the river's nice. been less than interesting for the last like three and a half hours but we are almost to the parking lot and we're gonna get this next bus back into the train station and head home we've waited well over 30 minutes for this bus uh, it's supposed to be here according to the schedule in about five if it's not we are going to share a taxi with this couple behind us We'll get back to our hotel eventually. One more train ride. We just got off our bus and walked straight to the train station and it looks like it's already here. But Nathan had to run inside and buy some tickets. I hope it doesn't leave. Good. Regardless of what my face might say right now, that was a really great hike. It really was. The last four miles I could forget about, those were <laughs> horrendous. But you cannot be hiking to those mountains, that lake, the chalet, the overlook. Just the hike itself was a lot of fun. We're gonna shower and go straight to bed because tomorrow we have to catch a train to Budapest. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.